Good morning. Welcome to Christ the King's morning prayer service. This is Monday, February 8th. The opening sentence from Malachi. From the rising of the sun to its setting, my name will be great among the nations, and in every place incense will be offered to my name, and a pure offering, for my name will be great among the nations, says the Lord of hosts. The Confession of Sin. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. We have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O oh Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent according to your promises declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of your holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant you absolution and remission of all your sins, true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. <clears throat> This morning, rather than using the Venite, we'll be using the Jubilate, which can be found on page 15. Oh, be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Be assured that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Oh, go your way into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and speak good of his name. For the Lord is gracious, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures from generation to generation. We'll now have the Psalm readings and the New Testament lesson. The Psalms appointed for this morning are Psalms 95 and 96, beginning on page 394. Oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. And show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God. And a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the depths of the earth. And the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it. And his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down. And kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God. And we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts. As in the provocation and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. When your fathers tested me. And put me to the proof, though they had seen my works. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation and said... It is a people that err in their hearts, for they have not known my ways. Of whom I swore in my wrath. That they should not enter into my rest. Psalm 96. Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the whole earth. Sing unto the Lord and praise his name. Tell of his salvation from day to day. Declare his honor to all nations. 
and his wonders to all peoples. For the Lord is great and highly to be praised. He is more to be feared than all gods. As for all the gods of the nations, they are but idols. But it is the Lord who made the heavens. Glory and majesty are before him. Power and honor are in his sanctuary. Ascribe unto the Lord, O you families of the peoples. Ascribe unto the Lord worship and power. Ascribe unto the Lord the honor due unto his name. Bring offerings and come into his courts. O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth stand in awe of him. Tell it out among the nations. The Lord is king. It is he who has made the world so firm that it cannot be moved. He shall judge the peoples righteously. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea make a noise and all that is therein. <clears throat> let the field be joyful and all that is in it. Then shall all the trees of the wood rejoice before the Lord. For he comes, for he comes to judge the earth. And with righteousness to judge the world and the peoples with his truth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The New Testament reading this morning is taken from the Gospel according to St. John, the 20th chapter. Now on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early while it was still dark and saw that the stone had been taken away from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, they have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. So Peter went out with the other disciple, and they were going toward the tomb. Both of them were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. And stooping to look in, he saw the linen cloths lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came, following him, and went into the tomb. He saw the linen cloths lying there and the face cloth, which had been on Jesus's head, not lying with the linen cloths, but folded up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple who had reached the tomb first also went in and he saw and believed. For as yet they did not understand the scripture that he must rise from the dead. Then the disciples went back to their homes. But Mary stood weeping outside the tomb. And as she wept, she stooped to look into the tomb. And she saw two angels in white, sitting where the body of Jesus had lain, one at the head and one at the feet. They said to her, woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, they have taken away my Lord and I do not know where they have laid him. Having said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you seeking? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, sir, if you have carried him away, Tell me where you have lain him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Aramaic, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not cling to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But I go to my brothers, but go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and that he had said these things to her. On the evening of that day, the first day of the week, the doors being locked where the disciples were for fear of the, for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, 
peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, even so I am sending you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you withhold forgiveness from any, it is withheld. Now Thomas, one of the twelve, called the twin, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, we've seen the Lord. But he said to them, unless I see in his hands the mark of the nails and place my finger into the mark of the nails and place my hand into his side, I will never believe. Eight days later, his disciples were inside again, and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and put out your hand and place it in my side. Do not disbelieve, but believe. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The canticle this morning is the Mania et Mirabilia, and that is found on page 79 in the Book of Common Prayer. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O king of all the ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? for you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, he was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and a life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us. And grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide those who govern us. And lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. And let your people sing with joy. O Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. And defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And take not your Holy Spirit from us. A collect for the renewal of life for Monday. O God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night, and turns the shadow of death into the morning. Drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law, and guide our feet into the way of peace, that having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, 
we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now have a time for prayer and intercession and thanksgiving. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for your loving kindness and mercy toward us. Lord, we lift you up and praise your name. Oh Lord, we think of all of our congregation. We particularly would lift up to you the members that are shut in and cannot go out and ask that you give them your peace and help us to also visit with them one way or another in letters or in calls and, and just to communicate with them so that they can feel a part of our fellowship. And concerning our fellowship, Lord, we, I pray for those who are ill and ask that you would heal them and uh, be with them in very real and special ways. Amen. Lord God, our Heavenly Father, I thank you and give you praise and glory for the successful surgeries that were performed last week, for the healings that happened from those surgeries, for the healings that happened without surgery. Mm -hmm. Lord, all we can do is be in awe of your amazing healing power. You came to preach, to teach, and to heal. Lord, I, I ask that the ears of all of our congregation and of all the world be opened to hearing your teachings. Let our hearts be open to the possibilities of the Holy Spirit within us. And let us remember that you are the reason that are the, you are the bountiful reason for all healings. And we thank you for those that you have performed. And thank you especially for the COVID vaccine. Amen. Lord Jesus, we give you thanks for our church and our church family. We pray for uh, your guidance, uh, your discernment as we uh, look for next steps with our uh, old building. Thank you for the great meeting we had yesterday uh, with the uh, old uh, church building committee. And we pray, Lord, for uh, the uh, neighborhood uh, adjacent to our church building. Uh, we, we pray for the churches that are around us. Uh, thank you for a, a great conversation I had with a local pastor. Just happened to, to meet him in the parking lot after our service, and uh, we got into a great discussion, and uh, he really had some insights uh, into the uh, community, and uh, I was uh, very thankful for that, and um, pray for a good relationship with uh, that church and other churches around here as we are on a common mission uh, to uh, go and make disciples and we ask, Lord, that you continue to empower us uh, for the mission that you've given us, the apostolic mission. Amen. The General Thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we are unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you've made. We bless you for our creation preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace, and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies, that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.